these numbers here from maybe a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago. And I got into trying to find a new terminal and, and then I got to testing what is the fastest terminal in terms of how quick does it launch. And uh, I was on a different computer then than I am now. It was a Lenovo Think Center with an AMD A8 processor. Kind of an old computer, not a very powerful processor even at the time. Uh, 2014 computer and on a Samsung SATA SSD on Debian 10. So these numbers are from the packages. Most of them are from the packages in the Debian repository. So not to be surprised, ST was in first place. I think this was with like one patch added or something like that. <clears throat> I, however, do not use ST because I, I tried doing the patching thing and it, it just, it was too much work, too much work. And then Xterm, then URXVT, Termite, they actually send their page to use Alacrity. Then LX Terminal, which I ended up using, ended up picking to use. And I used XFC for Terminal for quite a while. And then we're getting heavier and heavier as we go. And then finally, Alacrity down here. Uh, and th these last ones, I think, have a whole lot of features. But yeah, I, I do not want to wait at all for my terminal to launch. So. Uh, it takes half a second for it to launch. It's, it's kind of a while for me. So these days I, I'm using URXVT and I know that uh, develop, new development stopped on in 2016, but it, it meets all of my needs, like the Vi selection mode. That is available in Alacrity, but Alacrity is, is a little heavier. I don't want to use Alacrity quite yet because URXVT has, it takes care of all of my needs. Uh, and all of my everything I want to do. So I'm going to do an updated test here comparing URXVT with ST because that's I'm, I'm actually in LX terminal here for this video, but I'll do this real quick. Now, uh, my Zenit RC starts this, but anyways, so that's not running right now. So here's what we're going to do we're going to see if ST is running the suckless terminal and then time it and then we're going to time your XVT uh, right there and so we time it what we do is we see if it's running and if it's not running we time time it exactly this is exactly what I did here you know see if it's running and if it's not running we time it and and run the echo command oh one of the ones that I tried here but didn't work was gnome terminal the e flag didn't work for whatever reason uh, and so then we'll time urxvt then what we'll do is we'll start the ur urxvtd the the daemon and then we'll launch the client and see what improvements we get and then i don't know what happened there there we go so let's give it a shot let's see what happens let's see what our speed comparison is i saw a flash there uh, so what do we got? We got 30 milliseconds and then 55 milliseconds for UXVT. Oh, that's barely faster. But then if we got user time and sys time, that's way down low there. So it makes some difference running the client. But uh, to not have to do all the patches, and actually this is this is uh, Suckless terminal, terminal without any patches. So after I would add, I don't know how many patches I would have to add, but... It would be quite a few. It might be very close to URXVT. So what I use is URXVT. Absolutely love it. It has a couple of little quirks, but uh, it is fantastic. It's so fast. So that's everything. I wanted to add one detail that Alacrity, this was compiled. It wasn't the snap package.